Okay. Hey, what's up, Centropy family? I'm here with Aaron and Baron Hogue, uh, somebody we want to introduce you to because uh, we were just introduced to him recently through some mutual friends. Got a project that I think that all of us need to get behind. Um, if this is what we're going to talk about today, if it hasn't affected you yet, it will. And it's something that needs to be top of mind and we need to be proactive and take action on this stuff. Absolutely. When we first uh, met Baron uh, just a few weeks ago and Talk to the guy, talk about inspiring yeah. individual with a very, very inspiring project. He's not even a chiropractor, but he might as well be one. Um, <laughs> just really amazing. So let's just let you get into it, man. What is it that you're doing? Tell our people about what it is and how we can all support you. Well, awesome. Well, thank you, gentlemen. I, I appreciate it very much. It's always an honor when we have groups like you that are willing to allow us to tell our story. Um, I, I think we all have learned over the years that we have to be very protective who we introduce to our tribe because not everyone has the best of intentions. And so I, I take it very seriously when uh, when people allow me to speak um, in their world. So thank you for that. I appreciate it. Um, so as you guys said, I'm not a chiropractor. Uh, my name is Baron Hoig. I'm the executive director of a nonprofit in the United States called One Chiropractic. Uh, we created it um, in, in 2016, really off of, off of a, a quote that is still one of my life quotes today, which is from Buckminster Fuller. And it says that you cannot change an existing reality by fighting it. You need to create a new model that makes the old model obsolete. And, and I, you know, when I look at chiropractic and the frustration, I, I'm, I'm celebrating my 27th year in the profession and I've, I've owned clinics, I, I've consulted, I've run um, state organizations, national organizations, I've done just about everything there is to do in the profession other than to adjust. And, and I, I've seen the underbelly, I've seen the upside, I've seen every aspect of it. And I'm very, I got very frustrated really with how our profession operates as a whole. We, we're one of the few professions that circle the wagons and shoot inward. And, and it's just, it's unfortunate because we literally have one of the best kept secrets, if you will, in the world, because if the world really understood what it is we do, I think our healthcare system would be completely different across the world. And so I wanted to do something different. So I, I really found that quote and, and got a group of guys and we created our organization to take on the tasks that no one else was willing to take on. Um, you know, in our profession, People are willing to work very hard if they can get famous or rich, but all it's the underbelly work that needs to get done. And, and we wanted to start working on those types of things. So uh, we, we've been doing various different projects uh, across the United States, primarily from 2016. In February of this year, a great friend of mine, Steve Franson, um, pitched an idea to me. And he said, listen, can you imagine how amazing it would be if our profession had like a Navy SEAL elite strike force that, you know, had teched up experts like attorneys, uh, researchers, content experts, PR firms, lobbyists that all really were really trained. If you think about an elite military team, no matter what country you may be in, elite teams spend 90% of their time training, 10% of their time executing. And all of their effort and energy is preparing for that two to three minutes or days of, of action. But they have to spend all of that time getting prepared, understanding their enemy, understanding the mission, understanding their equipment. And, and, they, and then they're the best of the best when it comes to those high pressure situations. So he was, he was sharing with me, imagine if, if chiropractic had that at the time, this is February of 21. At the time we were dealing with issues in Australia of, of pediatrics and, and chiropractors not being able to treat children in, in British Columbia, Canada, we were dealing with new x-ray regulation that was limiting chiropractors ability to do routine x-rays unless there was some acute finding that would necessitate x-ray. So all the techniques that we have in our profession that use x-ray for analysis and preparation, it was now considered inappropriate in Canada to do that. In the United States, we were dealing with states where medical associations were going after chiropractors for their ability to use the term neurological, which was just asinine. So, and, and if we're honest, you go 126 years back, our profession's been under attack really since its inception. And we as a profession, yes, have survived, but I would think everyone would agree we haven't gone about it very efficiently. You know, we wait for a crisis, we rally together, 2% of our profession steps up financially and energy wise to defend the rest of the profession. We may beat that battle, but it takes a long time, takes a lot of money, and it's not as efficient because these issues keep coming because we 
don't have a good defense system. So I'm like, dude, I, I friggin' love the idea. I, I think it's phenomenal. And I agree with you that that is an, a necessary task. So I asked him, I said, can I steal it? Can I take it and make it part of our project? We have the vehicle, we have the company, I have the infrastructure, I already have contributors. And he was gracious enough to let me take his idea and run with it. So we started building the Chiropractic Defense Council. We, we call it the CDC. And yes, that's intentional. Um, we're trying to rebrand what the CDC means. Um, so we have the Chiropractic Defense Council. And I started interviewing attorneys and really primarily focused in the United States. That's where the largest, uh, you know, accumulation of chiropractors exist in the world. And, and so we started getting attorneys from all over the country and talking to PR firms and lobbyists. And, and we did, we retained them. We started hiring them. We started teaching them chiropractic, our history, our lineage, all of that. And then in July of 2021, we, we launched our first like hello, we're here to the profession. And it was an online summit called Out of the Storm, Chiropractic in a Post-COVID World. And we had 26 different speakers from all over the world um, sharing their perspective of where chiropractic was sitting as we were coming out of the pandemic. Um, and, and we didn't know, obviously, this is July, we didn't know what was about to come a month later, but it was kind of our way of letting the world know who we were, why we existed, the threats that we thought were coming. Um, we were pretty prophetic, as it proves, um, in what we thought was coming. And then sure enough, in August, California was the first state to introduce mandates that chiropractors had to be vaccinated in order to continue practicing. And so we just went into high alert. As God's timing is, it's absolutely perfect. And we were in a position to be able to immediately move and retain attorneys. Um, it, it quickly spread to seven states within the United States. And we were able to retain attorneys in every state. We now have uh, 13 attorneys within the United States that are on retainer. Um, and we, we were successful to be able to navigate for all chiropractors in the United States to be able to continue to practice. They were not, none of them had to get vaccinations. Um, and I think those of you watching this can, can imagine, maybe you haven't been faced with this decision, but you've been in practice for 15, 20 years. Everything's going great. You're building. COVID has really helped you accentuate your message in your community. You're busier than you've ever been. Things are going great. And then all of a sudden you're told that if you do not get vaccinated, you will be fined $9,000 a day and potentially go to jail. That's that's a slap. I mean, it's it's a reality. We can talk principle. We can talk purpose all day long until your livelihood, your family, all of that is really put in question. And then now you can't go to the supermarket. You can't. You're really being ostracized from your world because of this stupid vaccination. Um, it was an issue. And so we, we were the first organization to mobilize working in conjunction with state organizations in conjunction with other national associations. But we, we were successful at being able to put together a step by step process for doctors to be able to follow so that they could re remove the fear and start moving in faith, which is really, that's what our mission is. We, we want our profession to move forward with the same love, the same passion, the same belief that we had that created it, that's grown it over the last 120, 60, 126 years. But this was a different type of a crisis. You know, we, we didn't, we've never faced anything quite like this before. Well, then all of a sudden I started getting calls from doctors in Australia. I started getting calls from doctors in New Zealand started getting calls from doctors in South Africa. Um, and, and next thing you know, we're fighting these battles all over the world. And so we're in seven countries now. Um, we now have over 39 attorneys on retainer. We have uh, 15 researchers that we that we have on retainer as well. Um, content experts, PR firm. You know, we, we literally are that elite striking force that Dr. Franson was talking about when he introduced it to me in February. And, you know, I couldn't be prouder of the work that we're doing. Um, it's, it's, what we've done is we've helped chiropractors maybe for the first time in our history, not feel alone, not feel isolated, not feel like they're the only ones going through a battle. And the reason we do that is our structure. Our structure is very, very different in that we have two commitments to the profession. And these came from my years of watching other organizations come and go throughout chiropractic. The first one is complete and utter transparency. Um, we share with everyone where our money goes, how much money we bring in, where we're spending it by country, by specialty, if it's to legal, if it's to marketing, if it's to the staff, you know, we, we are completely transparent because our, our quest is to get a lot of people doing a little bit. So our economic structure is our request is that people give us $33 a month U.S., and the $33 come from the 33 principles. That was very intentional. Um, it's a very, it's a little amount. I think all of us would agree. That's like the equivalent of like four cups of coffee, depending on where you live in the world. And, and I mean, it's not, it's one chiropractic treatment, if that, depending on what you charge. I mean, it's, it's not a lot of money. But if I could get 5,000 people giving me that amount of money, now I have a few million dollars 
to be able to defend our profession around the world. And, and so I, I'm proud to say right now, we're just under 2,700 contributors that are giving us that $33 a month. So it gives us a good chunk of money every single month to be able to continue to sustain the battles that we're in. We have two lawsuits that we're filing in Australia. We're about ready to do one in New Zealand. We have one going in the United States and we're funding it on behalf of all chiropractors and allied health without having to go asking for big contributions. I'm not going to the typical vendors asking for 50, 60, $100,000 because that's not sustainable. I mean, it's great when you get those gifts, but then I got to spend just as much time trying to replace it because, you know, in Australia, we've already spent over $300,000. So 50,000, as much as that sounds great, that's gone in a half a second when you have as many legal issues going on that we have on. So our vision was to have this model that resustained itself every single month so that I didn't have to spend my time trying to get money. I could spend my time doing the work that people were giving us money for, right? That, that's, that's a conundrum oftentimes with nonprofits. And so I'm very proud of, of the model that we've built. So transparency was huge for me. So people knew that the money they were giving was actually going to what they thought it was going to. The second thing that makes us very different is our communication. Every single Monday, for those that are contributing to us, we send them a video by country. So right now I shoot four videos uh, uh, every weekend, updating every country that we're active in right now, what we're doing. And, and, and I give them everything. I tell them what's happening, good, bad, and indifferent. And New Zealand, unfortunately, I've had to give some not great news because of what's happening in that country. We're having to rethink our strategy. We're having to, we can't find loopholes. And, you know, we're just honest. We're not, you're not, you know, propagating uh, fake information. We're not giving them false hope. We're being very honest and real, but we're coming at them every single week, giving them direction, giving them guidance, letting them know they can reach out to us. I have a team of people that respond to emails to make sure everyone feels heard. Everyone feels like they're a part of it. See, the bigness of what we're doing is we're bringing chiropractic together, right? It's never happened before. And we're doing it around issues that really don't get into vitalistic versus mechanistic, that don't get into mixers and straights, that don't get into what school did you go to or not go to. We're actually doing the work to ensure that chiropractors can practice. Like we're protecting the rights of practicing chiropractors all over the world. And we're continuing to do it. We're an apolitical organization. I'm not gonna get into a pissing match with chiropractors. That's not what this is about. You vote with your checkbook. You either like what we're doing or you don't. If you don't then stop giving you know just tell us and we'll we'll cancel the contributions it's not it's not a big deal to me which was another genius behind our small amount because if if you're only giving 33 i'm not going to beg you to keep giving me 33 dollars like i appreciate it and i love it but i'm not you know that doesn't hurt me <laughs> so you know so i'm good with it I, I want those people that are connected to our vision that that believe chiropractic can be and should be the number one healthcare choice in the world and we're committed to making that happen. And the only way that happens is if we can defend ourselves. If we put out this, this aura into the world, don't piss with the chiropractors. They're too organized, they're too well-financed, they're gonna fight. You know, the people leave us alone. And that hasn't been the case. We're so fragmented as a profession, we're pretty easy to, to target and to take down. A, a perfect example of that is in Canada right now. And then I'll shut up and I'll let you ask any questions. Sorry, I, I get excited about this. But in Canada right now, we don't have issues with um, vaccine mandates. As a matter of fact, there's not, there's only one territory within <clears throat> Canada that has a mandate and it's not a super strong one. And so we're not dealing with that issue, but we are dealing with the x-ray issue in British Columbia. We are dealing with a chiropractic college, which is the equivalent of a licensing board, depending on, on how, where you practice in the world, but it's their, it's their authority that license chiropractors. They've been very tyrannical for the last 15 years. They have two employees that have been way uh, reaching way beyond their, their, their ability to legally, but they've gone unchecked because again, our profession is so disorganized and chiropractors argue and so on and so forth. So we started getting involved in bringing the weight of the, the chiropractic defense council, shooting shots across their bow saying, and literally I'm, I'm recording videos saying you're done. You are no longer going to operate this way. You are going to do what's in the best interest of the public and the profession, which is what your charge is as a licensing authority. So I'm telling you right now, it will stop. And so we sent them a letter from our attorney telling them that they are going to reevaluate the x-ray thing. They are going to stop going after chiropractors for wrongful reasons. All of a sudden the media picks it up. And now like it's, it's like frontline news within British Columbia that the chiropractors are fighting back. That's what I want. 
right? I mean, some would look at that and say that's horrible. I'm telling you that's gorgeous because it lets the world know they're on notice. We are not going to lay down. We are going to stand behind our belief systems. We are going to stand behind the truth and we're not going to back down anymore. So, so that's the vision, right? The vision is that there's an organization that has the resources, that has the expertise to be able to stand up anywhere in the world. We're doing the same thing in England. England right now has major x-ray issues and we're working in conjunction with a number of people and we're going to go there and do the same thing. And we're going to put our stake in the ground. We're going to let them know this is not going to happen. Here's all of the information we have. And that's the beauty of our organization. I'm pulling information from all over the world now. I mean, we we have over a thousand people in Australia that are connected to us. We have over 400 people in New Zealand that are connected to us, right? Like, so Canada, we have over a thousand. So, you know, I'm bringing information and knowledge and experts and resources from all over the world into one place that I can train my people and then deploy them to make sure that we're representing the profession. That's never been done before in the history of our profession. So we're very excited about it. And all we're asking people to do is to jump on board for 33 bucks a month. So, you know, that, so that, that's kind of the, that's what we're doing. So good, man. So, so good. And I mean, we've obviously been in chiropractic for a while and we know that what happens is a lot of times chiropractors are like, they're just so focused on building the practice and making it happen. And they just stay in their little world. Mm-hmm. It's like, I don't want to go do the politics. I don't want to do this other stuff. I know, but the least, very least you can do, it's $33 a month. It's like absolutely nothing. If you're not going to take an active role in politics, then give money to people who are like yeah. you guys. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and again, and we make it super easy. And another thing we do on our website. So if you go to defend chiropractic.org, defend chiropractic.org, you'll see right there. You can go by country. You can watch the videos. We put up the last three updates um, and we update them obviously every week. So you can see the progress we've made, the work we're doing, the way we're communicating with people all over the world and see what we're about. And then if it makes sense, then you can contribute right there. Just click the button. Um, We make it as simple as we possibly can. Our financials are on there. You'll see who our advisory board is, who the people are that, that hold me accountable and make sure that I'm doing what I say I'm doing. Um, cool. But it, you know, it's just as transparent as we can make it. That's just awesome. It's so important. So important. And really, again, for 33 bucks a month, that's not even one adjustment. And this is something that, um, I mean, I love the way you guys are setting this up and you're going after it and making it happen because I think you're setting precedence as well. Mm. And it absolutely makes it easier to argue in, in future circumstances in other countries. Maybe, oh, well, I'm in some different country. We have a lot of European docs, a lot of Australia, a lot of New Zealand, um, but people not necessarily in the States, but what happens there and what happens around the world affects everyone. So That's I love exactly that you right. going after this and setting that precedent. And a, and a lot of times people think as well, like where I'm practicing right now, it's fine. It's not going to come to me. Yeah. It's moving it's so to. fast. You know, it's moving so fast right now. And that's a very good point. And that's that's an argument that I have. Like every time I go into a new country, the first question they ask is, well, am I, uh, you know, is, is my Australian dollars going to go to Australia? And I'm like, no, I, I'm not going to promise you that. I'm not putting money in escrow by country because if I did that, mm-hmm. I wouldn't be able to do work for anybody, right? You know, yeah. the U.S. obviously is where we have the most contributors at the moment. And so the U.S., if you want to be honest, is paying for the work we're doing in other countries because there's just more people And $33 is not a lot. It's only a lot when you have a bunch of people doing it, right? So it takes me a while to build up revenue in a country. And so I spend a lot of time trying to get chiropractors to think bigger. You know, it's crazy to me, a profession that started with having the universe as their oyster has been evolved into this place that doesn't think outside of their four walls. And it just doesn't fit. We talk about, you know, the, the, um, the innate, right? We talk about the brilliance of the body. We talk about how majestic the body is and how it works. But yet the minute we get away from our table, we go back into the same channeled thinking that the rest of the world has. And we, and that's part of the reason chiropractic has not flourished to the level that it should. And so what I'm trying to do is say, this is about chiropractic and you guys are exactly right. If we lose New Zealand, which is the scariest place right now, It will darn well affect Australia. It is going to affect Canada. It is going to affect the United States. It is going to affect affect Great Britain and England. Because the minute that they successfully contain us is the minute it's over for all of us. Because it's a model that they're going to continue to try to evolve and work. And, And if you don't believe me, look at what's happening with these pandemics. How quickly did every country follow the exact same playbook? I mean, literally, it's eerie how similar these mandates are across the world. So you guys are right. This is not about a country. It's not about a state. It's not about a mandate. It's about the profession. And here's the, the best part. And, and I'll, I'll shut up after this, I promise. I just get so excited about this stuff. 
I, I, you know, here's the best analogy I can give you. So I live in Columbus, Ohio. It is the home of the most amazing college football program in the history of college football, the Ohio State Buckeyes. So um, <laughs> I, I appreciate you, Nebraskan. You know, you can you can appreciate that a little bit. But anyway. So I'm a huge Buckeye fan and, and this year started and the very first game came out and I, I wasn't able to watch it, but I recorded it. And, and so I, of course, as a true fan, I watched the recording, but I had already known we won by double digits. So I'm watching the game and I'm like astonished because we're playing like garbage and we're actually losing by double digits going into the fourth quarter. Now, had I not known the end and not knowing we won, I would have watched that fourth quarter with a lot of fear, a lot of anger, a lot of frustration, because I'm like, come on, there's no way we're losing to this team. But instead, because I knew the ending, I watched it with really excitement, like, holy crap, something amazing is going to have to happen because we're losing so bad and we end up winning by double digits. So there's going to have to be a couple pick sixes. There's going to be some explosive runs, you know, so I'm with anticipation. I'm watching each minute and the closer we get to the end of the game and we're still losing, the more excited I get because I know the end of the story. You following me? Mm -hmm. Now, that's how I feel about what's happening right now across the world. I'm a believer. I believe in God. I believe in the Bible. I, I, I choose to believe I know how this story ends. So I'm not watching everything that's happening with fear. As a matter of fact, I'm watching it, looking for the opportunities for God to move, looking for the opportunities for once again, man, to be, to, to understand we're not in control and that there are things happening we can't see or understand. And so I'm going into this saying, where are the opportunities for me to make chiropractic shine? So as we lead in these countries, chiropractic is leading the fight. We are leading the lawsuit in Australia that may very well take down the entire thing for the entire country country. And, and the PR of this is the chiropractors are doing it. We have MDs, we have nurses, we have dentists, we have acupuncturists that are coming to us saying, you guys are more organized. You have a better infrastructure. Can we join what you're doing? It's creating an optics that chiropractors are in control, that we have hope. I, I literally get emails every day saying, you guys are incredible. Not you guys, meaning the CDC, meaning chiropractic. You guys have been right. You guys have been saying this forever. We thought you were heretics, and now we're come to find out you have been right the whole time. There is such an opportunity across the world for chiropractic to elevate its understanding and the, and the world's understanding of chiropractic to actually put us in the forefront of leaders of healthcare. If we do this right, if we do this right, which we're fully capable of doing, you will see in the next 15 years, chiropractic actually be the gatekeeper of healthcare because of what we're doing right now. That's what drives me. So I don't go into this with fear. I, when I get those emails of people crying and they don't know what they, what they should do, I tell them, hold the line. I promise you something's coming. I can't tell you exactly what, but we're going to fight until the absolute end to ensure that chiropractic becomes the number one healthcare choice in the world. And I believe it's going to happen because it's what should happen. It's what's in the best interest of humanity. So it's, for me, these are very exciting times. We have an opportunity to do something that, that we would have never in any other time in history been able to do what we're doing right now. And that's why those of you watching that are contributors, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for giving me the opportunity to do this work, to take the passion that you're seeing and the excitement that you're seeing on this video and turn it into to an effort to go into a new part of the world and, and tell people what chiropractic is and then beat the hell out of anyone trying to stop us. So uh, I, I'm just very thankful for what I get to do every day. That's awesome. That's awesome. And for those of you who are supporters, thank you. And then if they're not supporters, how do we get on board? Go to defendchiropractic.org. You'll again, it's everywhere on there. Contribute, join the cause. Chiropractic needs you. Um, just click on there. You'll see three options. Our, our, our main request is $33 a month. We do have what we call a founder's level for those people that maybe are really on board and have deeper pockets. It's a one-time gift of $18.95, which those of you that are good students should know why that's considered a founder's level. So one-time gift of $18.95 and then $33 a month after that. And then we also have a custom a one-time gift of any amount you want to give. So we do give options for people. I know some people don't like the idea of reoccurring charges and I get that. So you can give a one-time <laughs> if you choose to, but yeah, just jump on the site. We're absolutely on board. We love what you're doing. We love you, man. It's so good. Yeah. Well, guys, we'll thank sure you so that, much uh, again for the opportunity. For those of you watching, thank you for doing what you do. And, and you and don't get mad at me for doing this, guys, but I was actually just talking with Dr. Franson yesterday. Dude, I am so in love with what you two are doing. Like I watched your video on your website. I had no idea who you guys were. I, Steve just said, Hey, talk to these guys. And so I had never heard of you. And, 
And I went on your website and I really started watching the videos. I am so in love with what you're doing. My daughter's um, in uh, 10th quarter at Sherman in, uh, in South Carolina, and my son's going to be headed to life in two years. So I got two kids that are going to be chiropractors. And, and yeah. my biggest concern and what I've told them from day one is you, I don't ignore everything else, be the best at adjusting, be the best at understanding how to be a chiropractor. The rest of the stuff you'll learn, be the best at adjusting. And, and with all due respect, it is a lost art in today's world. And what you guys are doing is so needed, so necessary, not only what you're doing, but the way you're doing it. I absolutely love your philosophy. And as I told you guys in an email before this call, I am hundred percent on board, man. Anything I can do to spread your message I'm in because it is the goal. I like we only become the number one healthcare choice in the world. If we actually believe and have confidence in what we're doing, the adjustments powerful yeah. enough, but when the person administering the adjustment doesn't believe in what they're doing, it's over. And, and we've totally. lost that belief. And that's what you guys are instilling in people is the passion and the love again of the art, because the art is really so important. And so thank you guys for stepping up and taking the leap that you have, because I, for one, am, am very, very grateful. Don't get us started talking about that, because we can't. We love that. That's our, that's our juice. So thank you for thank you for that, Darren. Yeah. All right, we will make sure that we will leave the, the link as well. So you guys watching this, you can go ahead and just click on the link, go to that, check out the site and uh, enjoy this awesome vision. Yeah. Thank Sounds you very great. much, Baron. We appreciate you, man. Awesome, guys. God bless everybody. Have a good one.